Good morning everybody, it's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm personally watching this morning on the 8th of April in 2019. We're also going to be going over quickly what the stock market futures are looking like. We're going to see the SPY, the ETF that trades based upon the SPX, to see how that is reacting this morning. So without further ado guys, let's just hop right into it so this morning let me just click a quick refresh here we can see the s p futures are currently down about three dollars and fifty cents down about 0.12 percent the nasdaq's down about thirteen dollars right now down 0.17 percent and the dow jones is down nearly 80 points right now down about 0.3 percent near uh with about 30 to 45 minutes left here um you know towards the market open another interesting thing here guys i haven't really done research on this is pinterest could be worth nearly 12 billion dollars um you know shares between 15 and 17 dollars for its ipo this is something i definitely need, uh, need to do more research on what do you guys think about that i honestly have no um idea and knowledge about that ipo but i would love to do some more research on that so let's just talk about very quickly before we talk about gold here which is on an absolute tear this morning let's just take a look at the SPY very quickly which for those of you all that don't know like I said it's an ETF that tracks the S&P 500 so it literally has very close to the same chart here and we can see based off of what I said in yesterday's video that the S&P pushed to another higher high this past Friday. It seems like we broke out of the 2890 resistance and it seems like the S&P wants to maintain that level as of right now as a new support. Well, as of the close of Friday actually. But if we go over here to the SPY based on this movement, we're seeing that Okay, the SPY is pulling back a bit. That means the SPX is going to be pulling back a bit as well. We can see on the futures, it's down nearly four points. So the S&P, you know, it, it seems very overbought. It seems like it does want to pull back from this level. And this is something that I'm going to be watching very closely this morning, as well as the rest of this week, guys, because we've been talking about how each time the S&P has pushed to a high, you know, over these past couple of weeks slash months, we've seen a plateau consolidation and then we've seen a retracement so this this spot right here this level that we're at you know this could be a spot where we might uh consolidate a bit pull back see that one two three percent pull back before we either continue the uptrend or we completely break pattern and then we just start selling off so this is something i'm going to be watching for today and this upcoming week. So let's talk about some stocks very quickly um, uh, this morning. And we can see NVIDIA is actually doing pretty well this morning. Well, not pretty well. It's setting up pretty well uh, this morning. So for those of you guys that watched uh, my video from a couple of days ago, I was actually talking about NVIDIA, how we broke out of the 185 resistance. We broke out of that level, and now it's looking like we want to maintain that level as a new support before we potentially head back up to the next resistance, which is roughly at about $200 to $205 per share. So like I said, it's setting up pretty nicely this morning. Morning, right we're seeing a little pullback here pre-market hours if we excuse me if we get to see a retest maybe at about you know 189 flat maybe back down to about 187 which is a support level here or even back down to 185 which might be a long shot four points to the downside i don't know if we'll get that but if we get a retest at any one of these levels and we start to push back up we start to see some support consolidation and end a reversal this could be a potential entry today in nvidia for a longer term swing position maybe a week or two weeks maybe back up to 195 five the middle of this uh you know the middle of this horizontal channel or if you want to hold it all the way back up to 203 205 dollars you could potentially do that as well but in my personal opinion if i were to get into nvidia here and we were to run up to let's say 195 196 i'd probably be taking some profits off of the board there because you know the stock would be so overextended at that point over the past just two three four weeks that you know it's gone from 144 and 
hypothetically, if we went to 195, that's literally a 50 point move in the matter of a couple of weeks. And that kind of scares me, to be honest, guys, because, you know, a lot of these stocks that we're seeing here that have gone up like crazy, we've seen some pullbacks, some dramatic pullbacks like this one from 162 to 131. We got one here from 167 down to 143. So who knows? We might be able to get one or a bigger pullback if we do end up pushing higher here, let's say from 194 down to 170 again. You know, this is something that could happen, especially since the stock has been soaring here over the past couple of weeks. So that's what I'm looking at in terms of NVIDIA this morning. We see gold going absolutely crazy, and it seems like we're at a resistance right now on gold at about 1308. Previous support here, now a new resistance, but some technical spot that we broke out of gold this morning are the 50 SMA and the 180 SMA both being resistance points and the fact that we got out of them today that's a pretty good sign in my personal opinion here but ideally I would want to see a break out of 1310 like I mentioned in yesterday's video for a play in JNUG and JNUG is a bull ETF goes up whenever gold goes up and that is one that could be pretty solid uh, this morning if we do break this level we could be filling up to the next gap at about 1320 in gold. So keep an eye on the on gold guys this morning. It's going to be very interesting to see what it is going to do. Another one I want to watch is uh, crude oil here. And crude oil seems like we're getting a nice pullback, or it seems like it's getting a nice pullback here this morning. And it seems like it wants to retest the $62.90 to $63 old resistance, which is now a new support. And what I'm watching for is if we hold this level here this morning, you know, 62.80, maybe $63 flat. If we do pull down that spot, you know, this could be a good entry in UWT, which is a bull ETF that goes up whenever crude oil is going up. So just keep an eye on this one this morning, guys. Ticker symbol UWT. It may be a bit overbought, which is why I want to see a bit more of a pullback in crude oil, which would pull back um, UWT as well. But it's still worth watching in my personal opinion here. So another one that we talked about was Tesla and Tesla's doing pretty solid this morning. Last time I checked, yep, it's at 277.38 as of right now. And if we hop to the 20 day one hour, we can see a gapped up pre-market hours this morning, all the way up to 280 nearly. We've been downtrending from there, but we're seeing like we're finding a support. It seems like we're finding a support here on the 50 simple moving average on the uh, the 20 day one hour. And if we hop back over here to the 184 hour, we can see we're finding that same support as well on the 50 simple moving average. So what I'm liking about this Tesla pattern is that we're making higher highs. And if we continue to bounce from this level, that's going to be a confirmation of a higher low from the previous, which means we're reversing to the upside. Very nice uptrend pattern here, reversal uptrend pattern. And for those of you guys that watch my video on Friday, I actually took some profits on my Tesla swing trade from that previous day, and I actually held some shares over the weekend, and those shares are up a bit more here, so I am glad that I held them, and I want to see, are we going to end up popping above this level, the 50 simple moving average support? Are we going to test 280 again? And maybe at this point, if we slowly start to get to 280, 281, I might be taking some profits on those shares as well, but only time will tell here this morning, but it's looking pretty solid as of pre-market hours right now. So in terms of stocks and ETFs, guys, that's mainly what I'm watching this morning. You know, Tesla, NVIDIA, those two are looking pretty good to me. Gold and crude oil in terms of ETFs here. Let's just take a look at Apple very quickly to see what this one's doing. We're actually getting a bit of a pullback on Apple as well here. The markets are pulling back. That could be why Apple's pulling back as well. And we were talking in yesterday's video, if we actually get a retest on 195 here, that could be a potential entry on Apple as a swing trade back up to $200. I'm going to be watching this one this morning as well. So I'm going to end off the video right here. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are watching this morning. If you enjoyed this video, 
video, feel free to hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general, and it lets me know that you guys like seeing these morning videos. So go down below, hit that like button, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I have two links down below in the description for you, the Discord group chat as well as the Facebook group. Both of those are free. I'll catch you all in there. We'll chat it up. Have a good one. Good luck today, guys. Peace out.